Good morning, you guys. It's 8 a.m. And uh, thought I would record a little bit of my morning routine. So I'm going to wake up, go walk this baby right here outside, and then get ready to go to the gym for my check-ins and cardio. So, yeah. After that, Jackson's going to be here, so get ready for the quality camera in three, two, one. See guys, I told you, Jackson is here. So it's about 1 p.m. right now and just finished working, like I said, just finished having my breakfast. And now I am going to show you in real time how quick it is for me to get my meals done. So like I said, I got my instruction from Kim today. We are about 10 days out from the Olympia. So I am going to show you how I get packed for the day with my food. So Tupperware here, kitchen here. I'm gonna put out my scale. Oh, first of all, big shout out to my girl, Maria, who just, um, came out with her sauces that are super macro friendly and I cannot wait to have them after the Olympia. Guys, like I said, I've been eating pretty much the same protein. So I have my ground chicken in a Tupperware already prepared. I have some boiled chicken breast in another Tupperware already prepared. I have some brown rice for pre-workout today. So I'm going to do 30 grams of that. I've been using the uh, brown rice from Whole Foods frozen just makes it super easy and then vegetable of choice for my meals bell pepper and french style green beans from whole foods these are my absolute favorite i do about 100 grams 120 grams i don't really measure my vegetables i'm just trying to be consistent with it and i will show you there's one of my meal that i make a big salad and I use the fire roasted salsa and I use 30 grams of that. It's from Fresh Market. I don't know if it's only in Florida that has Fresh Market, but is it is delicious and there's nothing else but tomatoes, onions, cilantro, chili pepper, jalapeno pepper, vinegar, garlic, sea salt, and spice. Good stuff. Right here. And lettuce and we have one ounce of avocado. So I'm gonna start with my pre-workout meal. So for pre-workout, I'm gonna do the 30 grams of brown rice. Got Every time I do this meal, I laugh because 30 grams is this much of rice, but it's okay. Oh. 
how much how many grams of rice were you eating at the beginning of prep? Like half a cup. So that would be what, like 125 grams maybe? And I initially actually had some rice noodles. You know the noodles that are made with brown rice? Oh my God, so delicious. And I would do that with just a little bit of marinara sauce because it's so low calories. I'm gonna do four ounces of ground chicken. Any protein that I are easy to digest for me right now. And I've been, like I said, super consistent with even the brand that I'm using for, you know, my ground chicken, my chicken. Okay, four ounces right here. Little handful. Of bell peppers. Little handful of those green beans. I also have my specific toppings for every meal. So with that meal, I'm gonna do everything but the bagel seasoning. I just feel like it works so well with the rice and salt. That's it. That's pre-workout meal that we're gonna eat in a minute. Then that is going to be my meal number three, post-workout meal. It's going to be the same thing, just those French green beans. bell peppers. Ooh. Ooh. And I'm going to do four ounces of the ground because I like having my boiled chicken breast with my salad, which is my meal right after that. That's a lot of vegetables, actually. Way too much, way too much, but it's okay. I just won't eat all of them and keep it for later. Okay, done. And then for post-workout meal today, I believe I have half a cup of rice, let me check. Um, that's when, you know, prep gets very particular because I get a different plan every day. So let me check what we have today. We've been having more food, so it, it feels good. So a little bit less than yesterday. So yesterday we did have um, like third, three fourths of a cup of rice. Today we have half a cup of rice. So that's uh, 125 grams for me. I'm gonna have the rice separately. If you know, you know, that's all I'm gonna say. If you know, you know, I love having my rice separate. And I am going to do white rice for um, my post-workout meal. And yesterday, my mother-in-law that I love with all my heart is she made white rice and she put some garlic cloves in it. So good, so, so good. So shout out to my mother-in-law that is amazing. She lives with us um, like five days out of the week. Always, we're always together. She's great. So we're gonna do 125. I'm, all, I'm off from like one gram every time. Okay, pretty good though. All right, so white rice. Okay, so on this, 
same thing. You want to put the little seasoning on top. Right here. So we had a pretty decent refeed yesterday. I had a five ounces of steak that Aldo ordered from Morton's, which is a restaurant that I, we love. Um, they have that crazy lobster mac and cheese, but obviously they didn't have the mac and cheese, but I got a filet mignon that was delicious. And just the fact that I was not the one cooking it, I was just like, wow, this is amazing. And I made some asparagus and I had the rice on the side. And then before bed, I actually had some egg whites with a little bit of um, oatmeal and peanut butter. And it was delicious. Like there's no feeling going to bed for me with a full stomach of just goodness, like peanut butter. Oh my God, it just tastes so good and it's so delicious. So, for my salad meal, here's how I do the thing. First of all, I use the biggest container that I have because I make those big giant salad. Okay. So, broiled chicken breast, four ounces. I guess I use my hands, it's just easier. Mm. Straight up four ounces, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And then we're gonna do, like I said, 30 grams of that salsa thingy. What I recommend to do when you have a container like this, you actually put the, the container on the scale, put it at zero, and then um, put it on your food. Because if you do the opposite like me right now, it's going to be really hard if I go over. I'm at 29 right now. I'm going to stop right there just to make sure. And I'm pushing my luck. And then obviously I'm going to warm this up once I'm ready to eat it but I'm gonna put the little avocado on the side where I have the... which is one ounce. I'm gonna eyeball it, but I'm pretty sure that's gonna be one ounce. That should be... Oh, a little bit over. That's straight one ounce. So one ounce of avocado. I don't have my salad seasoning anymore, which is the, it's like a salt-free seasoning. Oh my God, this one, I can't find it anymore, but that was so good, the avocado toast seasoning. That one was amazing. Um, then the dash vegetables, I haven't been able to see it. And sometimes I do use the sumac, but the sumac, I need to make it with some Dijon mustard, like it needs something else. So that salad is gonna be boring today. I have no seasoning to put on. That's sad. I'm gonna put some salt on it, it's totally fine. And then I'm using Just gonna grab these uh, salad lettuce that I'm gonna bring, and I'm gonna cut one of these little cucumbers, little diced, diced up. Guys, okay, so easy. I've been eating seriously the same thing for the last two months. Nothing easier than that. So when the time comes, I'm just going to 
put that on the side, warm the chicken up, and then mix it with the lettuce. And it just makes such an amazing salad. Normally, like I said, I have seasoning. Today is gonna be limited to salt only, but it's fine. So I'm using red real salt. If you know, you know. I have a little half a teaspoon in there. Um, I don't use full half a teaspoon, maybe a little bit less, but that's the only teaspoon I have. So I'm bringing that with me. And we're basically ready to roll, guys. 15 minutes. I have my three meals, three next meals in there. So when I come back to my house, I only have two more meals. And one of them is just my egg whites with my peanut butter. And for today, we have another four ounces of salmon with some asparagus. Um, later. So these are my meal for today, 10 days off from the Olympia. And I'm going to eat my pre-workout meal that you guys just saw. And we're going to head out to the gym to go train some back today, which I decided to show you guys. So see you at the gym. Intro that workout. So for warm up today, we're doing the Nautilus pull down. I like to start with unilateral, um, just to warm up and get the feel out of it. And then I'm doing the pullover machine by Nautilus. All right, guys, we're going my class. This is going to be get it done workout. Please apologize. I will give the details of this workout in the description down below and if there's any tips and tricks that you guys want to know about back workout that you didn't get to see in this video just let me know it'll be my pleasure to help you out but just need to focus now so
reach. That machine is good because it's nar more narrow than the original one. Normally it's really hard to not, to actually feel it, but I feel really good on here. So we're gonna jump into kind of the hardest lift on my back day, which are Dorian rows. I'm gonna do four sets of Dorian rows.
that.